thought by Father Jeremy Haberimina. Put all our trust in Jesus Christ. Monday of Sith Week in Ordinary Time. Readings. The testing of your faith produces perseverance. And let perseverance be perfect so that you may be perfect and complete. Beginning of the letter of the Apostle James 1, 1 to 11. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes in the dispersion, greetings. Consider it all joy, my brothers and sisters, when you encounter various trials, or you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. And let perseverance be perfect, so that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. But if any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God who gives to all generously and ungrudgingly, and he will be given it. But he should ask in faith, not doubting, for the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed about by the wind. For that person must not suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord, since he is a man of two minds, unstable in all his ways. The brother in lowly circumstances should take pride in high standing, and the rich one in his lowliness, for he will pass away like the flower of the field. For the sun comes up with its scorching heat and dries up the grass, its flower droops, and the beauty of its appearance vanishes. So will the rich person fade away in the midst of his pursuits? Responsorial Psalm Psalm 118 Response, Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. Before I was afflicted I went astray, but now I hold to your promise. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. You are good and bountiful, teach me your statutes. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I may learn your statutes. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. The law of your mouth is to me more precious than thousands of gold and silver pieces. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. I know, O Lord, that your ordinances are just, and in your faithfulness you have afflicted me. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. Let your kindness comfort me according to your promise to your servants. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. Alleluia John 14 I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Gospel Why does this generation seek a sign? A reading of the Holy Gospel according to Mark 8 verses 11 to 13. The Pharisees came forward and began to argue with Jesus, seeking from him a sign from heaven to test him. He sighed from the depth of his spirit and said, Why does this generation seek a sign? Amen, I say to you, no sign will be given to this generation. Then he left them, got into the boat again, and went off to the other shore. Talk Dear brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ our Lord, continues to lead us through the path of sanctification. In 
the first reading, Jesus reminds us through from James how important it is to have faith in him to pray, because we need believe that you can do what we ask you to do. The gift of faith is fundamental in prayer. When you pray with faith, you get what is asked, because Jesus does not disappoint those who ask him with faith, because Jesus Christ is love and loves us. He causes us to be filled with his spirit, and that let us be children of the same Father. Jesus Christ loves us. He who died and rose again for our salvation, he cannot deny us anything but we lack confidence in him. If we have to ask, let's start by asking for faith in him. Lord Jesus, give me faith in you. Believe that you have risen from the dead, that you are alive, that you are with me, that you walk with me, that you are almighty, that you can do everything, that nothing can resist you. This is the irreplaceable foundation of our prayer, and of our whole life, faith in Jesus Christ, dead and risen. By his faith, James transmits what he has, teaching us with confidence. And by faith, as the Apostle teaches us, we can understand our dignity even being poor for the world, because we have true wealth, intimate and eternal, Jesus Christ our Lord. By our faith, we can properly assess the goods of the earth, so as not to put our trust and security in the ephemeral, but in Jesus Christ, our Lord. James explains it very well. The sun rises and dries the grass with its ardor, the flower falls, and its beautiful aspect perishes, thus the rich man will also wither in his undertakings. Everyone who puts their trust in goods he is mortally wrong. The wisdom of James Apostle calls us today to conversion. We come to Jesus Christ, the true wealth, so you will know who you are. Outside of Jesus Christ, like he tells us, we can't do anything. He who has wealth sometimes thinks that he can do everything, or he really puts himself in the Lord's place, thinking that he has power, cheated on money. The truth is Jesus Christ. Life is Jesus Christ. The way it is Jesus Christ. And to those who ask for signs, Jesus Christ gives a resounding no, and he leaves because they do not have faith in him. There are those who ask for signs, signs or miracles insisting and insisting again. Please, Jesus Christ is dead and risen, he is alive in his church, he is alive in the Eucharist, in the sacraments. What else want? Call on his name confidently, and you will see that he will answer you, but not put him to the test. Jesus Christ is alive, loves us and always responds to us if we invoke humbly, simply, confidently. Come Holy Spirit. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Immaculate Heart of Mary, protect us. Our Lady of Carmen, pray for us. Jesus Christ, be praised. Jesus, I trust in you.